Hello everybody. Um, my name is Kendall Smith and I'll be doing a review on Target Test Prep. Um, so just for some background on myself, I'm actually from Detroit, Michigan, Michigan originally. Um, I went to the University of Michigan undergrad. I got a BBA from the Ross School of Business. Um, I'm currently a business process improvement consultant, um, a senior consultant actually at EY. I'm graduating from Michigan in 2018. Um, and just for some background on my studying, um, so I actually started studying for the GMAT in 2018, right after I graduated. I decided, you know, I, I think I want to go back to business school at some point, so let me get the score now because it lasts for five years. So if I do decide to go back, you know, it'll be there. And I failed tremendously. Um, my goal was to score above a, a 700 because I wanted to go to Ivy League business school. And um, I, I was... I had no structure at all. Um, I was studying. I was basically scalping <laughs> um, test test prep from other friends, like logging into friends who had taken Veritas classes and um, Magoosh and things of that nature. Um, but just using their old, you know, recycled materials that had no structure. It wasn't curated for me at all. Um, so my first practice test, I actually scored a 600. And on the second, I scored a 640. And you know, I was moving to a new city. I live in Chicago now. So just having just the financial burden of moving um, to a new city by myself, um, I I decided that studying for the GMAT probably just isn't the right thing for me right now because I can't really afford to commit to a, a, a platform. And I'm also, you know, not getting the score that I want. I don't want to pay $300 for a, a test that I don't feel comfortable. I'm going to score above a 700 like I was shooting for. Um, fast forward, I currently have scored a 710 on the on the GMAT, 49 on the quant, 38 on the verbal, um, 8 on the integrated reasoning, and I will tell you how Target Test Prep helped me do that. So just for um, just just to, just um, in terms of background, I found out about Target Test Prep from a friend who's actually currently at Sloan. Um, he studied. Um, for the GMAT pretty regularly and he used target test prep and he referred it to me so I actually just checked it out and did the, the one dollar one week trial or five day trial I believe it is and I, I thought it was great um, just seeing that structure really showed me what I needed I did see that the course was dense which made me a little bit nervous at first but I told myself I really want to take you know all the time that I need to get this quarter that I really want to have and I wouldn't take any shortcuts and essentially will give it everything I have. Um, Cause I think Target Test Prep has about 20 verbal chapters and maybe about, I mean 20 quant chapters, sorry, and um, maybe about 10 verbal, but I, I really appreciate it because it really gets pretty granular um, and it goes down to a subject level from geometry to absolute value and inequalities to ratios, word problems, etc. And the same thing with verbal um, with like for critical reason and strengthening arguments and differences, whereas you have sentence correction, um, it goes as deep down into comparisons and parallelisms, which I thought to be very helpful um, when it was time for me to actually take the test and see some questions. I could recognize them for exactly what they were. And not only that, um, when I was taking practice tests, I was able to keep an error log. So as I was, after I finished going through the course, I was able to you know, refer back to target test prep for trouble areas. <laughs> Um, so just for my experience with Target Test Prep, I spent about five months actually going through the course. Um, and the whole time I had a, a Google Doc, which I believe is about 70 to 80 pages right now, just, just taking notes. Um, and, my, and my goal, so I actually did the first few quant chapters in full, but I did quant and verbal in parallel. So I would take about, you know, couple hours a day doing quant, a couple hours doing verbal, and if I was on a bench, I would honestly spend even more time. Um, but if I was working, I would do at least three to four hours every day. Um, I may do a couple hours in the morning and a couple hours in the, in the, in the evening, which I know is probably a little aggressive. Um, but it's, it's, it's a lot of good content in TTP, and I just want to make sure I got through it all before I finally decided to take the test. Um, so I would go through in the morning, read the chapters, take notes, um, and then do the practice test. And my goal with the practice test was to eventually, initially I was doing them all and it kind of started to get pretty long winded. So eventually what I decided to do was to take the practice test. So for the easy practice test, 
I may shoot to score, you know, 100% on two of the easy practice tests. And for the mediums, I, I was shooting for around a 90%. So I can get like a 90, 93-ish percent on two of the medium tests. I felt pretty fine. And on the hard, I was shooting to get 80% um, or greater. So if I was around that range, I would usually take about two to three tests for each difficulty. Um, and for English, I know they just wrote out the English beta, but it's showing a ton of promise, so I'm super excited. I think it'll be very helpful um, once they go in and continue to populate more of that content. Um, so fast forward, finally get through target test prep. Um, what, I, what I do recommend actually is also buying the official guide. So I spent about four months going through target test prep, and then my fifth month was essentially for like iteration, review, things of that nature. Um, so my fifth month, I was going through the official guide, you know, trying to get some eyes on real GMAT official questions, um, just to just to see, you know, how they tie out and how similar they are, um, which I thought was very helpful, just to get enough used to the structure of the GMAT. But also took, I also bought each of the six practice tests, like TTP recommends, and I actually took. Each of the practice tests, and I actually got a 710 on my first practice test, but it was a very unique range. Um, I took two after work, so I didn't do good on two of them. I got like a 660. Well, not bad, but not what I wanted. Um, I got a 690, two 710s, and actually one 770, like the, the week leading up to my test. Um, so I was on a super high, um, felt extremely confident and just super ready. Like I got the 770, I think I know everything, you know, can't wait to take the test. I go in and I take, finally take the test and I scored a 650. Um, so obviously it was pretty disappointing. You know, I was happy to have a good score that I could fall back on, but it was a bit of a letdown, um, just given, you know, what I had done on my practice test and, you know, what I actually scored on a real test. So I was a, I was a little flustered. Um, and one great thing about TTP as well is Scott and Jeff and the TTP team are just extremely hands-on and helpful when it comes to outreach and making sure everything's fine on your end. So I actually reached out to Scott and Jeff um, to let them know my score. And they actually checked in, actually, just to see how the test had went. They actually even sent, like, a, Scott actually sent the article out um, a week leading up to the test on, like, how to go about, you know, prepping for that last week of the test. Obviously didn't take much heed to it. Um, I didn't get much sleep at all the night before the test. Just had super anxiety. Um, so I actually was able to get on the phone with Jeff. And he actually called me via cell. And he told me, you know, if you need anything, just feel free to call me anytime. You know, I always understand. And they both were just super helpful. Um, Jeff helped me curate a plan to help push myself. Um, you know, just reassured me that, you know, I know what I know. And I shouldn't feel, you know, feel incapable. I'm, I should be pretty confident still to this day. Sometimes, you know, you sit down on test day and you just don't perform the way, you know, you expect to. Because the same way you can score a 770 and have a really good day, you know, you could score a 650 or a 660 and not have as great of a day as you would expect. And, and it happens. So Jeff told me not to worry about it too much and gear up and get ready to take the test again in a few weeks. Um, which I did, and once I actually sat down in those two weeks, I just sat and just practiced practice problems, but he told me not to go, you know, too crazy with the practice problems or practice tests. So once I sat down, I did that, I actually was able to recheck the test and score a 710, um, like I said, 49 on the corner, 38 on the verbal. Um, and, you know, just really thankful to have come across target test prep and, you know, have support through the whole GMAT process with from people like Scott and Jeff. They were extremely helpful. Um, if there was questions I ever had about any questions in the GMAT um, section of TTP, I reached out to Jeff like, hey, you know, um, is this question doesn't make sense. And he actually, you know, reached back out to me and helped me see the question. And I ended up realizing that I was misreading the question. Um, so just things of that nature. I think they're very thorough, uh, very great people, always willing to help, happy to help. Um, they also have an extremely great tool, which I highly recommend, um, that I believe can help you get wherever you truly want to be uh, when it's your turn to take the GMAT. So that's all I have. Uh, good luck to you and your GMAT journey, and I hope that you'll be interested in choosing target test prep along the way, as I promise it will not disappoint.